Hey it's going on guys, welcome to another video, it's away Kenix here for another video and today I'm gonna show you how to create stylized brick walls in Blender. It's a super easy and fast tutorial for you guys as the others that I normally do, like 5 minutes or 10 minutes tutorials for you to understand and to learn something new. And if you like cartoon style, this is the, or if you are a beginner or advanced user, this is the perfect tutorial for you to just learn some new techniques all right so before we, we go to blender don't forget to give a like on this video and subscribe the channel i have seen that a lot of you guys are not subscribed to the channel i don't know why this channel is super cool so please subscribe the channel just click the button uh, the red button you just need to scroll down and click in the red button and you are subscribed you don't need to pay anything it's completely free all right guys and we are almost reaching the 1000 subs guys we are almost there so that's it guys let's go to blender all right guys we are here in blender in this amazing platform and let's go and start this tutorial first thing that we need to do is click shift i in mesh add a cube change the dimensions of this cube just to create like a shape of a brick something like that is looking pretty good and this is only for the sake of this tutorial so this will do perfectly all right i think this is looking pretty good right now so now we have our object that we will use for the tutorial to create uh, the wall we're gonna use the ray modifier let's change the factor of the x axis to zero and let's use the y axis in one easy as that let's change the count to something like seven or eight and if you want to learn more about the ray modifier and the radial array technique i will put a card here in this video for you to check it out uh, the radial ray technique and how uh, to create rotating stairs with the radial array technique that's two videos for you to learn more about this array modifier let's come back here to the tutorial right now let's add another array modifier we're gonna use this array modifier to create the height of our wall so let's use here the z-axis in one a factor of one and let's just put something like five six six or seven seven all right now we have our wall created so if you go to uh, edit mode you can see that we only have one object that is our cube so to create this wall we need to apply this array modifier so let's go and apply this array modifiers you will gonna see why we're gonna apply it right now if we go to edit mode we can go and select every single uh, object and uh, if you want to select only this uh, brick over here you can click l and you select only this brick and over here i select only that brick over there all right so right now let's select everything and uh, by pressing a and let's go to mesh here in mesh in the transform tab let's go and click randomize this will open here a tab it's the randomize tab and here in the amount we can change how much this will affect our bricks in this wall i think this is looking pretty good right now in uh, something like that all right and now you can see that the this is already looking a stylized wall so let's just change some stuff to have uh, that cartoon style all right so for that let's go again to edit mode and let me just bring this over here and let's click alt z to go to x-ray mode and let's just select uh, this clone over here this one over here and this one over here now by pressing g we're gonna move this to the side let's move here in the y-axis to something like that all right and now you can see that we have already a really good looking wall right over here you can see that we have some stuff working going on in here in our object so and uh, this is literally it guys we have already created our uh, wall and let's just uh, activate the cavity and uh, let's just change over here to a matte cap all right and now you can see that this is looking pretty good and you can create a lot of stuff now i can go and select these and just bring this over here something like that and i have these walls connecting each other and i have a really good looking walls to create my cartoon style project so that's it guys i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you learned something new 
from it this is a super easy tutorial and uh, uh, here we only use uh, array modifiers and uh, we just need to randomize the object but uh, i hope you understand something new and uh, right now i hope you can use these walls and this stuff that you have already uh, learned in this tutorial to uh, add to your projects and something like that so i hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed don't forget to give a like and subscribe the channel and help me reach the 1000 subs we are almost there guys so that's it guys i see you in the next video bye